Hello everyone. Welcome back to Manual Tutorials. Today we will be seeing another example uh, which was asked as a doubt by one of our students in the comment section. This is related to even and odd components and is slightly different than the examples that we have seen earlier. Also this video includes a bonus trick which can help you solve this example faster which you will be able to see at the end of the video so uh, please watch the video till the end. If you would like to uh, watch all the examples, I have linked a playlist below this video. You can check that out. Hope you find that also useful. If you also have any doubts related to signals and systems or any other topic in electronics and telecommunication or computer science engineering, you can mention them in the comments of any of our videos and we'll try to upload a video explaining that. Also, if you have not subscribed to Emmanuel Tutorials yet, do subscribe and like and share these videos and channel with your friends who are in need. So let's start. The signal which is given and for which we have to find the even and odd components is y of t is equal to 10 cos 3 pi t. So this cos kind of signal. In these kind of signals you don't need to draw or sketch the signal because it will become very complex when you try to draw the even and odd components and then find the uh, y of minus t for each of them so uh, it's better to solve it using the method we are solving now so first we'll go with the even component even components uh, formula is y of t plus y of minus t by 2 so original y of t plus y of minus t is the time reverse signal original signal and then you add them and then you divide them by 2 so that is what we have done here. We have taken the original signal 10 cos 3 pi t and we have added it to 10 cos of minus 3 pi t. So instead of t we have substituted it with minus t. So it becomes cos of minus 3 pi t and then we have added them both and divided it by 2. That can also be written as 10 by 2 taking 2 common cos 3 pi t plus cos of minus 3 pi t. Now here what we will do is use trigonometric identities which we already know to make this expression easier to solve. So this is in the form of cos a plus cos b right. So cos a plus cos b is 2 cos a plus b by 2 into cos of a minus b by 2. That formula we use and we try to change the expression that we already have. So here a is 3 pi t and b is minus 3 pi t. So the, the uh, resulting formula will be 2 cos 3 pi t plus minus 3 pi t by 2 into cos of 3 pi t minus of minus 3 pi t by 2. Now here we can cancel the 2 in the denominator and numerator. So we get 10 cos 3 pi t minus 3 pi t will give us 0. So 0 by 2 multiplied by cos of 3 pi t minus of minus 3 pi t. So that is 6 pi t by 2. Cos 0 by 2 will give us cos 0. And cos 6 pi t by 2 will give us cos of 3 pi t. That is what we have written here. So y or even part of y of t will become 10 cos 3 pi t into cos of 0 which is 1. So this is equal to 10 cos 3 pi t because multiplication by 1 will give us the same thing. So next we will see how to find out the odd component. Formula for odd component is the original signal minus time reversed version of original signal by 2 that is y of t minus y of minus t by 2. So to get the time reverse signal we just represent t or we put minus t in place of plus t. So in this example it will be 10 multiplied by cos 3 pi t minus cos of minus 3 pi t by 2. So we have taken the 2 outside and written it as 10 by 2 cos of 3 pi t minus of cos of minus 3 pi t. Here too we will be using trigonometric identities which is for cos of a minus cos of b. Now we know that 
कॉस ऑफ ए माइनस कॉस ऑफ बी इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू साइन ए प्लस बी बाई टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई साइन ऑफ ए माइनस बी बाई टू यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट इट एज साइन ऑफ ए प्लस बी बाई टू इन टू साइन ऑफ बी माइनस ए बाई टू सो द माइनस विच इज आउटसाइड कैन बी रिमूव Here we have taken the minus outside because it will become easier to solve. In this example, what we have done is divided ten by two already and made it five. So it will be minus two multiplied by five, multiplied by sine of three pi t plus three pi t by two. Which because it is three pi t minus minus three pi t, right? So we have made that minus and minus plus. So it will be three pi t plus three pi t by two. And the other sinusoidal signal will be three pi t minus three pi t by two. Now, for the second part, sine of my a three pi t minus three pi t will give us sine of zero by two, and the first part will be sine of three pi t plus three pi t, which is six pi t by two, which is three pi t. That is what we have written here. And the outside it was minus five into two, which becomes ten. So it will be minus ten into sine of three pi t. Multiplied by sine of zero. Sine of zero is zero, so anything multiplied by zero is zero. So resultant odd component of y of t will be zero. So we have got both the even and odd components. Hope you understood this. Now we come to the trick which can be used to solve this uh, example easily, which can be useful for your MCQ questions and for competitive exams. For using this trick, you have to know what kind of signal the original signal is, whether it is an even signal or odd signal. So, how do you find whether it is even or odd? We have already seen that in one of our previous videos. You can check that out. Also, here I can give you a gist. You have to just check whether the signal is a mirror image of itself around the y-axis. So, you know that cos signal is represented as this kind of signal, as drawn. So you can see that the signal which is on the left hand of the y-axis is the mirror image of the signal on the y uh, on the right hand side of the y-axis. So this is an even signal. Similarly, if the signal on the left hand side of the y-axis was the signal multiplied by minus one, that is the signal which is reversed on the x-axis, then it would be an odd signal. That is x of t is equal to x of minus t, then it is even, and if x of t is equal to minus of x of t, then it is an odd signal. Here a signal is even, so the even part of the signal would be equal to the original signal itself, and odd part of the signal will be zero. That is what we have written. So x of e, x e of t will be x of t, and x o of t will be zero. Now we will see another method to solve the same example. For this, we will be using this formula instead of the trigonometric identities. That is, cos of minus a is equal to cos a. When we do that, cos three pi t is equal to my a uh, cos of minus three pi t. So cos of three pi t plus cos of three pi t will give us two cos three pi t. And two cos three pi t into five will give us ten cos three pi t, and that is the even part of the signal. Similarly, for the odd part, it will be cos three pi t minus cos three pi t, which is zero. So zero into anything will give us zero. So our odd component will be zero. Hope you understood this and found this method also useful. If you have any doubts related to this video or any topic in signals and systems. or any other subject in electronics and telecommunication engineering or computer science engineering you can mention them in the comments of our videos and we'll try to upload a video explaining that do like share and subscribe to manual tutorials for more thank you for watching